Welcome to TVYT TV, in which we get weight loss motivation from biblical scriptures. Today's focus scripture is once again from Proverbs chapter 23, verses 1 through 3, which reads, When you sit down to eat with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Do not desire his delicacies, for they are deceptive food. As I mentioned in our previous episode, this group of scriptures is so jam-packed with wisdom that I felt that I could not cover it all in one episode. So this is the second episode dealing with this particular scripture. And this is, we're focusing on that second verse, putting a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Now, of course, the scripture's not talking about putting a knife to your throat, literally, it's metaphorical, but putting a knife to your throat is a pretty serious image, isn't it? And so scripture is telling us that we should take our tendency to gluttony very seriously if we're weak in that particular area. Now it says, if you are a man given to appetite, and really when I think about that image of someone giving themselves over to their appetite, it's almost an image of a person who's living to eat versus eating to live. So you don't want to get it twisted because eating is a good thing, but you don't want to live your life just to eat because God created you for a purpose and a particular plan. And it wouldn't be good if you got things twisted there, but he did give us food to enjoy. So we have to keep that balance. Now, one of the things that is very important for you to know is even though you may have a tendency to gluttony and overeating in the past, then one thing that you have to remember is that as a Christian, a disciple of Jesus Christ, then you have the spirit of the living God living inside of your heart. And that's what scripture clearly tells us. And one of the things that the enemy will always try to do is he'll try to get you to start thinking about the person that you used to be. He always brings up memories of how you used to respond to situations. So before perhaps you were stressed out and you'd always run to a cookie or get you some ice cream to make yourself feel better. Well, the next time you feel stressed out, then he's going to suggest, oh, go to that cookie, go to that ice cream. Well, that was the person that you used to be. And really how you respond to different things now depends on the person that you identify with. And what I mean is as long as you're still identifying with the way that you used to respond to things, then you'll go back to responding that same old way. But if you tell yourself, I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus, and I've got the spirit of the living God on the inside of you, then you seek God's wisdom instead and ask him, how can I deal with this stressful situation rather than trying to bury it under food? So it's about a mental shift from a person where you're identifying as a person who's given to appetite versus a person who's given to Christ now that you're living for Christ Jesus and you're living to fulfill your purpose in him. And to me, that's such a powerful thing to realize that God's spirit is on the inside of you. And the only thing that you have to do now is to renew your mind to the truth in his word. And then once your mind and your heart, because your heart already knows the truth because his spirit is truth, but your mind still needs to be renewed according to that truth. And once they touch and agree, oh, you've got real power. And once you have that power in operation, then you're able to overcome anything on the outside. And that includes those destructive habits. So as for your action step this week, I want you to really meditate on the fact that you've got God's spirit on the inside of you. And your old identity, that person who was given to appetite, that has passed away. And you have a new identity, and as such, you have a new victory. 
So that's your action step this week. I imagine that as you meditate on the fact that God's spirit lives on the inside of you and you have that image on the inside of you, it's going to open up a whole new world even beyond the eating. It's going to affect the way that you deal with people because you'll find yourself being more loving and more patient toward them. And you'll start to become optimistic about your future and less anxious because you realize that God has chosen to make your body his temple. So God bless you and have a wonderful week.